Hello there guys, and welcome to Mad Doc Minis. Let's take a good look at this miniature. This is a not-so-classic plastic Cadian, and I say that because we had many generations of Imperial Guardsmen before this kit came along. But when it did come along, it was a welcome change in quality and style from the older plastic Catachans that we all came to know and love back in the 1990s, and which are actually still available from Games Workshop at the time of making this video. But the Cadian here is starting to show its age. And indeed, it's been replaced very recently by a new series of plastic shock troops. In this video, I'm going to compare old to new and draw some comparisons against some other selected miniatures so you can judge the scale and the quality of these new releases for yourself. So first up, let's take a look at the new Acadian in isolation. It's easy to see here that we have far more realistic proportions. The head, the arms and the legs are not oversized anymore and the weapon has a better design aesthetic to it and is more realistic in terms of its size. This is a conscious step away from the older style 28mm heroic scale that Games Workshop was famous for. What do you think? Do you prefer the older style or the newer style? I'd be most interested to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. We can also see, if we look at this miniature for longer, that we have a higher overall quality. And that comes in part, at least, due to the digital design process. Crisper lines, higher level of detail, better overall quality. You'd come to expect that from a much more modern miniature. But to really appreciate the difference, we need to compare the miniatures directly. When we put these two next to each other, it's easy to see that conscious step away from the heroic scale. Look at the size of the wrists and the ankles on that old Cadian. It looks like he's on something. Look at the head. It's huge, isn't it? Not helped, mind you, by that comical helmet. All these things have been rectified with the newer miniature, but the real question is, which one do you prefer? The newer miniature is not modular, it's monopose, which means the older kit has much more flexibility with conversion work. Is that important to you? It is to me. Love to hear your thoughts. Interestingly, there's been no increase in overall height, and that is something that I am very happy and relieved about especially when we start to draw comparisons against other miniatures, such as Space Marines. The Primaris Space Marine in this footage looks every inch of his eight feet when you compare him against the Nucadian, and that is the way it should be. I'm personally very passionate about this. Space Marines should look enormous next to regular humans, and it solidifies the law for me. What do you think? Let me know. So moving on, let's compare our new Cadian to a much older miniature. I've selected an old style metal Praetorian miniature for comparison. When you actually compare this much older miniature against this brand new Cadian, I think the Praetorian does pretty well. Granted, the hands and the feet are a little bit too large, but the proportions overall aren't that bad, considering how old it is and how long ago it was sculpted, and the fact that it's made out of metal. What do you think? Do you like these old metal miniatures, or are you happy that they've disappeared? Let me know in the comments. It's a good time to say as well that I'm fully aware that I haven't compared against the Cadian Stormtroopers, the elite versions of the shock troops. I think they are a little bit taller. And I will get round to doing a proper comparison. In the meantime, I'd like to show you an idea for a conversion. The more realistic proportions of these Cadians lends to head swaps with 28mm historical miniatures. And that is exactly what I've done in the following footage. I've created my own Praetorian using a head from the Perry Miniatures Colonial British range. You can see here that the head scales very well with the Cadian body. This is something you couldn't do with the old Cadians as easily because true 28mm heads would look too small on the heroic scale bodies. So there you have it. 
there are some potential conversions here. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys. And if you've enjoyed the content, please consider liking and sharing. Also, if you're not already subscribed, consider giving me a sub. Thanks ever so much for the support. And I will catch you again soon. Until then, take care.